Number one, that one. What is up, everybody? Little Joe from Back Bay Scale Customs. Always, first, a few announcements. If you are under 18 or whatever that age line is, uh, this video is not for you. You need to get off of it. Uh, I do not make content for kids. So that'd be that. You got to go. Sorry. So fuck off. Now that we've got that out of the way, how y'all doing today? Uh, now I know it's a live stream, should be a video, but you know what? I just don't care today. I feel like making a little bit of content. Hey man, what's up? I'm going to show you guys today how to make windows. See that window there? This one here? It's better than the one in the kits. I'm going to show you guys how to make that today. If my little plan works out like it's supposed to. You need a few things. Uh, to me, a tape is preferred. You can use other masking tapes. But I really prefer Tamiya. It's thinner, and the way it goes on, it goes on much, much, much smoother. Yeah, you know, I got some extra here. Uh, you need fresh blades, and you know what? In typical Little Joe fashion, I ain't got a goddamn thing ready. So, y'all just gonna have to bear with me. I'm doing it on the fly. But uh, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, I'm using my little stand here, so hopefully I can turn it down so you guys can see what I'm working on and how I'm working. That's my idea. I can kind of see y'all in there. So, all right, let me line this stuff up that I need, which I should have done beforehand, but hey, it'll give you guys time to get in here, you know? Give you times got it got it got it nah, 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 nah. okay all right what's going on nothing much fixing to show you guys how to make some windows if y'all are interested if you want to learn tell me now just say yes just say yes I want to learn few things to note from this episode things to learn from Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can't unfuck the babysitter. It's crazy. You should come to California. Fuck my wife, Maria, and the asshole. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm getting things ready for you guys now. Um, and it's not as complicated as you think. The main thing is the material that you want to use. Now, I have the material, and I was looking at it yesterday, and I see it. Hold on one second. No, no, we're not, we're not doing that game right now, Jack. I'm busy, Bubba. Dad loves you, but I can't feed you every time. Oh. All right, here we go. Now, I got lucky and I found some material. This here is just a, like a Goodyear package. It is at Walmart. But the material here, you can it's thin, but it's just not too thin. So you can make some kind of curves with it, and you can, you can do... You, it's malleable. You can, you can use, so I suggest that. Also, I reached out to Spencer1984 about this truck. Told him I would gladly donate it to him for a spies like or a stripes build. And he told me that he already has one of these in the stash waiting to be built. He just hadn't got to it yet. So I told him if he needs spare parts ever, and I haven't done anything with it. He's got it, because if you have not seen Spencer 1984, I suggest you look him up. He doesn't produce a ton of content, but the content he produces is A+. Okay, now, to me a tape. Show you what you needed to me a tape for. Now, you can use, if you have an existing car... Say like I have I have a couple bodies here, I have a body here, I have another body here working on my paint stuff. Uh, but I suggest using the car that the glass is going to go in. Reason why? Coats of paint. You don't know how many coats of paint that you've gotten in there on that on each car, so size will vary, and you're probably going to make a couple of windows till you get it right. Uh, first things first. You get this thing, this piece of tape. Now, I have tape that's just wide enough to get this Monte Carlo window. And what you want is you just want to be... Will it go the other way? I doubt it. Ooh, it will. It will. I don't know 
if I like that or not. You want to give me a cutting point. Okay, you want to you want to get the tape on the glass like that. Now I normally do it vertically. This is the first time I'm trying it this way. Then you want to take a toothpick and you want to just kind of, you know, much like bare metal foil, how you do with bare metal foil, you want to kind of sink it into the cracks there. You know, and then once you're comfortable with that, you need to get you a thin pen sharpie or a pen and very carefully you want to go around the edge of the window that you want to create. Now always remember you can cut it off but you can't put it back on. So whenever you cut this stuff out, it's really, really hard to get it perfectly exact the first time. So, you know, you might cut a little big. Okay, there's your, there's your diagram. Next thing you do, get you a good sharp pair of scissors. Which I have right here. Find your material, which this material is a great material uh, that I got from some flashlights and tire stuff that I got from Walmart. But you want to cut you out a piece. Just enough to work with. You know, it don't have to be huge. Especially if you want to try to preserve it. I try to find a spot that has the least scratches. Now you can see this is pretty clean. And it's pretty malleable. And you peel off your tape. Set the car aside and pick a nice spot on there and sit it down. Now I also recommend, I know everybody's got these big cutting boards, get you a small cutting board like this. This small cutting board will save your ass and help you build better because in smaller instances you can move this thing around and mess with it how you want to. Now I've got the mentioned stencil on this piece of glass now you can do it two ways you can use your your hobby knife which I'm not that good or you can cut it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and you want to take your time you know it's not it don't have to be absolutely perfect but you want a nice cut going in you know, you might maybe have to trim a little off, which is okay, because, you know, you're going to want to kind of trim this to fit, you know, and if you're just tuning in, I'm showing you guys how to make uh, windows for your NASCARs or whatever other window you might want to make. Now, you can see it's not perfectly on that line. But it's pretty close, you know. The hardest cut on these Monte Carlos is this back cut right here. That's a hard cut because there's a bit of a curve there. And it can be a bit of a wank to try to get it just right. So you just want to take your time. I mean, there's plenty of material if you screw up. You know, I suggest leaving a little long on the straight areas, which allows you to be able to trim through the straight areas and not have to trim a curve. You don't want to do that. Okay, now this is probably going to need to be trimmed. Now I leave the tape on it. Now you take the car that you're trying to put the window in and you test fit it. Now I can see that I cut it a little big which is fine you want it to be a little big in some cases that's what she said it's actually way big that's really what she said uh you know it's not too too bad it's not too too bad i don't like the i, I curved it a little too much on the back side but as you can see though it's it's a lot i can't show you i'll try it's close it's close. It's very close. So what do you do? You can take it off, but you can't put it back on. 
unless you don't have enough money to pay her, then she puts it back on. You do a little trimming. Just a little. Just a pubic meter, because we can't say cunt hair no more. Okay, it's just a little. And how's that look? Ooh. That's closer. That is closer. Oh, go. <laughs> Dropped it. Which is another sign that you are modeling. If you're not dropping shit, you're not making nothing. That's what I say. If you're not dropping shit, you're not making nothing. Now, let's see here. If I can get this adjusted just right for you guys. All right. I'm going to try to slide it in where it's going to go. Now, it's close. You can see it's close. And you just want to take a look and see where you might want to trim. Now, it looks like I can trim on this straight line here and trim on this straight line here, trying to leave these compounds alone. You know, just trying to leave that alone because it's harder to do. So you want to take off just just a little bit more again, just a tiny, tiny bit. So I only have I have a sharp new pair of scissors, which my wonderful lady got for me for Christmas. And I will use this to trim. And I hear a cat. What, Jack? My cat's patting on me. He's hungry. But I, I can't do it at the moment because i got to help you guys with this. All right, another little bit of a trim. And if we take too much off, then we can just start over because material is cheap. For something like this. And I'm trying to do this backwards. Okay, now that is looking good. You know, I'm getting it to stay in there by itself now. Okay, now she's in there by herself. I think we can move on to the next step. Now, the next step I like to do is I take some tape. Now, this big tape here, this stuff's nice for doing big areas. But if you want to do fine details, I suggest using the Tamiya tape to do the fine details and then using this to cover up the rest of the stuff. But I use this to tape down the Tamiya. And... Anyway, talk to me in the chat, fuckos. What's going on, guys? Is this worth learning? Are y'all learning anything from this right now? Or am I just throwing my cock to the breeze? Okay. Now, I leave the tape on this so I can know what area is the right area. Now, another piece of tape show you guys if I can get it right this is the surface that my uh, piece of tape or my window is originally going to go on now, what I'm going to do we're moving to go there she is okay which is the smooth side okay there's a side that we cut out now I will take this and lay this on it like that um, find my hobby knife which I know where it's at, and I'm hoping that there's another one here that I can grab quickly. Son of a bitch, I have to grab a knife. Oh! All right. No worries, no worries. Here we go. All right, now, what we got going on here? Okay, now you got your piece of tape on there with your window. You're gonna, you know, kind of feel it out or you can use a toothpick. Sometimes I'll take a toothpick and I'll do this with it just so I can get that edge down. Now that I got that edge down, 
I can come through with my hobby knife and I can cut. You don't want to press too hard in case you're on the glass, but you do need to press a little. Okay, there we go. I've cut it off of there. Now you want to leave that face down because you can tell it doesn't have writing on it. The writing's on the other side, which is the outer piece of glass. Now this is where your freehand comes in. You don't want to get too thick. You know, you want to try not to get too thick. So what you do is you reference in your brain how far you want the black to come out. Because you know those windows had that black around them. Even the stock cars did. And you want to recreate this. This is what you're going for. Nice recreation thereof. Okay, now you got that in there. Now, hobby knife, fresh blade. The reason why I say fresh blade is when she's sharp, you can just lay it on this Tamiya tape. Just set it on there. And just the weight of the blade itself will cut through the tape. Uh, as opposed to this tape here. You got to press. And it will leave lines in the windshield. Or the piece of glass. So how you do this. For this is a brand new fresh blade. And you just want to take your time. Because you know we're not in a race. We're modelers. That's why we're inside. And you just take your time and you run it down. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you something real easy in a second here that will save you some time on this process. Now. This is the inside glass. If you haven't tuned in, I'm showing you guys how to make patterns for your NASCAR or any car you may be building if you've got to make some kind of glass that isn't in the kit. Okay, now, peel this off best you can. And you're going to be left with the inside border. Now, there it is. There's your inside border, your black inside border. Now, you could spray paint it and do all that stuff, but I found, being that it's black, you can use a Sharpie. You use this thin line Sharpie, and it dries immediately. And you don't have to mess with paint. You take your time with it. Be sure to cover everything, you know, Sometimes if you stay too much in one spot, it'll get a little thin and maybe you'll have to go back over it and pat it like this because it's black and it's going up against a black little border in the car there and the inside of the car is not going to have a whole lot of light inside of it. You won't see the strokes of the pen. It'll be just fine. You don't have to worry about paint and all that other stuff. So I know a lot of guys struggle with how to do this. And this is just my own little method. Uh, it's not perfect. There's probably 10 different ways to do it better. But this is just how I do it. Okay. Now that's done. Next step. Leave the backing on it and flip it over. Now, you can see it's just a little, just a little bright. I want to hit it a little more. Hit it just a little more through here. You know, it's a Sharpie, so you can hit it a couple of times and before you get it perfect. All right. Now, you want to lay it down like this. Stick it on there. 
Now that you've got that on there, it's time to take off your original piece of tape that has been masking this bad boy the whole time. Keeping it safe in some ways. Now, you got that off of there. I can see, you can see how thin that border is right now. And I can roll it over and we can go through it again. Just because I want to. And I'll go real slow. Kind of pile it up on here. Now this next part's going to be a trick. This is how you're going to make the thin chrome. That's going to go around the border. And my, the tip of my pen is a little messed up. I bent it on accident. So I don't know how perfect it's going to be. But I'm going to try my best. Because I made this window two or three times already. And I couldn't get that border right. But I am going to get it right now. Okay. You want to make sure that you've got a good clean cut. And a good clean edge. And I think I do. Now. You can take your Maltal Chrome pen. And this. I believe this one. And hey guys. If these pens sit too long. The Chrome goes away. It won't be Chrome no more. Okay. Now here comes the artist part. The hardest artist part. Where you got to be an artist. You want to ride the outside edge. Or you don't want to be flat on this. You want to ride the outside edge. And let that outside edge carry you. You don't want to be flat with it. You want to be, you know, at an angle. You want to run this outside edge. So hold your breath, boys. And let's see if I can do this in one take. So... Am I, oh, I'm, and I'm actually on there backwards. I'm so glad I just noticed that. We'll flip her around. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to start. And once I start, I'm going to try to pull straight back and stop. Now, there's the benefit of having this little guy here. Now, I'm going to get on that edge and I'm going to pull. Stop, it came off. Now you can do this and run back over it. Now this is not going to be perfect, and that sucks that it's not, but there's nothing I can do about it. My pen's messed up. Got to get another pen. Now, run one more time. Outside edge. That's the line I'm looking for. That thin, thin line. But I fucked it up, so it is what it is, guys. And last one. There it is. Now once it dries, once it dries from that there and you stick it in the car, this is what you're going to end up with. Please focus for once. Where is the camera? I can't get it to focus, boys. <laughs> I'm trying, I can't get it to focus. But you'll be able to see that thin line. Let me set this car over here. What did you say? Where do you find the chrome pins? Well, where do you live? You live in the U.S.? I'm trying to get this one down. Oosh. All right, that's another one that I painted. But we got to take this car apart. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go and take this car apart because... It's about ready to be finished. Now, oof, I didn't paint this part here because that part is not going to be seen. Uh, I did detach the steering wheel. All of her switches are put in, you know, and I have, all right, yeah, we're still alive. I have some final stuff that I need to put in here to button it up. 
And also I noticed that I'm missing quite a bit of the roll cage. And I'm missing that bit of the roll cage because I need to do some things. So we're gonna do it right now. What's up, Tommy? Okay. A bit of the roll cage. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have you guys bear with me today. If you like NASCARs and stuff, this is really cool. So some shifters and stuff. I'm fixing, I'm robbing a lot of this stuff out of my, uh, another build that I'm doing that, uh, has been derailed for a bit, which is the, uh, which is this car here, the Skull Bandit. I've been having terrible trouble with the paint job on this car. So I am going to take a few things from this car to button up this Miller car. And then I'll get back on with this one. All right, now. That looks great. I think that's going to work perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. All right. So, yes, if you live in the United States, you can get that Maltal Chrome Pin at Hobby Lobby. Or you can get them on Amazon. They're two different sizes, three different sizes. Get all three if you can. But I warn you, keep them sealed. They got a little band around them. You keep them sealed because eventually they stop being chrome and just go to gray. But you want to keep it sealed. I use this little tiny pen a lot for really fine, fine details. And you can take the larger pens, which I have one around here somewhere. And you can actually make a pretty good go of it on things. So, now... How I like to use my super glue. And just ball me up a piece of this, set her down, and that's what I'm going to put my super glue on. And uh, I can't find my damn super glue. There it is. Don't have a whole lot left of this glue, and I know I bought another fucking thing of it. Excuse my language. Excuse my language, as they say in Alderaan. Quick question, where's Alderaan? All right. Right here, it's near the Dagobah system, that's what I hear. So, this is just the part of the shifter with the photo etch on it. Try to show you guys if I can, I'm gonna get it down in there. Get it glued on in where it's gotta be. That looks good. Now, there's also a photo etch shifter that goes into the end of that. But I'm going to do some other stuff here. Right quick, I'm going to stick this in. If you guys can see what I'm doing. This would be the fire extinguisher. Get that down in there. And the little water cooler that they use, or used, they're a little different now, but they're kind of the same in a lot of aspects. And I like to just, you know, get a little bit on there, not a whole lot, just a little bit, just a little bit. Ooh. These photo etch tweezers can be a mother futter. Okay. Okay, I got that in. Uh, is there anything else that I am missing? Probably. Uh, I think I may be missing this piece back here, but we'll get that later. Um, there is a seat somewhere. Somewhere above the sea. Okay. Get a little bit on there. A little bit on there. A little bit there and a little bit there. 
and then we'll get it all over there. Make sure that that's lined up as best as I can get it, because it can be a son of a bitch at times. You motherfucker. Oh, excuse my language, guys. Excuse my language. You boys know me. I don't like the way this seat is sitting. I just don't. But uh, anyway, how have you boys been? Everything been all right? Now, is this a different seat? Different chassis? Something is different. I'm seeing something. To, okay, I see. Got to go further back. Got to go further back. Okay. There we go. We'll just leave that sit for a while. Man, I don't like that. I do not like the way that sits. Okay, that is what it is. All right, let me read a little comments here. Yeah, no shit. Now, here's the issue I'm going to have. I don't know where the rest of the roll cage is. So, y'all guys bear with me while I track this shit down. Now, it shouldn't be too hard because I tend to throw everything in my little drawers up here. So, you know, I do know what I'm looking for and vaguely where it's at. But uh, anyway, yeah, guys, you want to try new things, do new things. I mean, I, I've pissed off everybody in the NASCAR community there recently for just being me. But that's just how it is, guys. You just got to you just got to do you do you boo boo. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Because in the end, when everybody else is gone and it's just you sitting there. You know, your girlfriend don't want to look at this shit. She says she does, but she doesn't. You know, so you're going to be the only guy looking at all this shit. So do it how you want to do it. And let's face it, what the fuck happens to models after we go anyway? Uh, the first kid at the thrift store that gets some wins, you know. That's one of those situations where, you know, this stuff very rarely lasts, you know. And if it does last, people don't know what they got. It only lasts because it's been put up. Oh, come on. Ooh, ah. So, I'm still digging, guys. I'm still digging. Looking for the sky to save me. Looking because I'm tired of flying. Finding all kind of other shit I couldn't find last week. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna never use that. Is this does this mirror what you guys do, or is it just me? Am I the only dipshit that has to do this? Search and search and search, or is it or or is is it just I'm a, just me? I don't want to build another one, man. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I was going to build another one, God damn it. It is what it is. One more place to look, and I know it's not going to be there.
fly along with me. I go in my big and blue. All right. Well, I've got two things or three things to put in here to finish this roll cage, and it's the center pieces, which had been in there. Let me check here. If y'all are enjoying this, give me a fuck yeah in the comments. All right, there's one piece. There's one piece that I need. So I've got this piece, which always stumps me, and I've put it in a thousand times. Set this piece here. I'm so pretty. Yeah, I know. That's that's um, a horrible person to be around in real life. I'm the only guy that I know can get fired at my own Christmas party that I threw. But I did it. It happened. Okay. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to build another one. Which sucks. But I have the stuff to do it. Would y'all like for me to build it? If y'all would, I will gladly go grab the stuff that I need. Just just uh, give me a few yeses. And I'll, I will build the shifter and put it in. For you guys right now. But, uh... Okay, oh, you, shit. You need me to build... Are you crazy, Full Throttle Customs? You are the fucking man when it comes to this stuff. Okay, here we go. I got the shifters. I can't find my other ones. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Taints. The topic is taints. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. That's you. I'm back. How was the taint conversation? I taint asking to be nosy. <sighs> okay, guys. Now, what I've learned with this stuff, with this photo etch, and I may be wrong. Full Throttle Customs is in here, so he can definitely fill you guys in. I've learned that <clears throat> two halves make a whole. So, you put, there, there's two identical ones on here. You want to glue those identical ones together. And that is what's going to make your shifter. Otherwise, way too thin. So, back to that big green tape that I was saying sucks for... You know, ribbon out detail, this is where it comes in good. Because this tape works awesome for cutting out photo etch. Now, what I like to do with my photo etch, this is a piece of tile from the Waffle House. I was in the Waffle House one day, and the freaking floor caved in. Typical modeler, I went, hey, can I have a piece of that? I can... Wash that off and use it to 
cut out photo etch. And they said, sure, we don't give a fuck. What's photo etch? You know, so. And here we go. Now, I don't have the actual shifter. It had the actual shifter shape. But I'm going to have to go with something different now. So I will. I kind of like this long shifter. But I wonder. And we'll go with the long shifter. If it don't work out, fuck it. All right. Now, it's important to stick photo etch on tape because a lot of times, and if the first time you ever cut photo etch, I bet you you did it, it was gone. Now, you just cut it off there and get you there. Or it's supposed to be there, but it's not doing it. Because it's a fucking asshole. Yes, I think it cut that time. Alright, yeah, it's just cutting pretty good. Cutting pretty good. Okay, now I've already previously cut out the thing and made the whole boot and all that, and it's on the car now. So I will ease this stuff up. Oh, you cocksucker. You bastard. All right, got that. So how's this going to work? Just like that. It's going to work just like <laughs> Oh, I see. The damn things are bent. When did that happen? They're brand new. Why are they bent? Which is dangerous to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Here comes a bit of the tricky part. Y'all still with me? Oh, I'm running out of glue. Tried that gorilla glue and it smells too bad. Okay, I need a fresh toothpick. This one's this one's screwed. All right, now just a dip, just a dip, just a dippy dip, dippy dab. Doesn't take much at all. Just a little bit. hoping that it's going to give me some working time because I need it. All right now, take this. Lay it over and push. And there you go. There it is. There's your shifter. Now, it did come with shifter balls, but I prefer using 
the ones from the kit because you can work with them a little better. They're a little bigger. And I basically just sand them white, you know. I grab my sanding stick wherever the sun bitch is. Um, I had one somewhere. Oh, there it is. I just grab my sanding stick and I just sand off the chrome because, you know, it's just chrome. There's not many chrome shifters. Most shifters were white anyway. But this is just a little bit easier to work with for me. Um, you guys that, you know, work with this stuff a lot might have a different opinion on it. So now I'm going to take that and I will hopefully successfully. There we go. That was very successful. Very, very successful. That was very, very, very successful. Now I will take my end of my thing here. Because I need to put a bit of a pilot in. And I will take my drill bits. These here. that I got off of Ibe. and I will drill me a few little holes in there this is another thing where you take your time these little drill bits have got a lot of grab they, they cut deep so you don't really have to really uh, Try super hard, but you do have to take your time with them. Just like anything else. <laughs> okay. That looks pretty good. Take. Oh, put my drill bit back up. I do not want to lose it. Take your little dab and put it on there. Little dibby dab. Okay. There's your shifter. Look at there. There she is. Now you can black wash it if you want. There's a bunch of things you can do. Um, hold on, that doesn't work. I know what I can do. Get it on there. And being that I'm not dealing with a bunch of paint, I can use this right here. A little stab like that and that's it it's done it's hard it's ready to go all right it smells a little funny that's what she said and just clean up your ball a little more balls ball 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 and now you're ready to put your shifter in now there's already a photo etch boot and stuff down there so what I'm going to do is get that in there, get my photo edge tweezers, you know what, use these because they got a better angle on them.
I know I shouldn't be doing it like this, but I am. I don't really like how high that is, so I'm going to cut it off a bit. Which is fine to do. We can chat for a moment. Y'all want to chat? How's it going? Let's chat for a minute while I cut this off. Some of this stuff needs to dry anyway. Uh, how's your mom and them? Okay, I got to find a little thing to cut this with. how you want you know what I mean so this thing needs to come down a bit so I'm just going to trim off a bit all right got me a bit trimmed off Yeah, it looks a lot better. I can live with that. I can live with that. Must be easy. Peasy. One, two, three, Z. Need to. Dip this in down. What should I need to show you guys? fucking thing here. Pretty good. That looking good to you guys? Y'all digging that at all? I mean, is this helping at all, guys? Because I don't really do this, and I've been kind of wanting to do something for you guys. 
I was wondering. I hope it's helping you guys. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm pretty sure you guys just kind of got me going on in the background. You know. Which is how that goes. I don't remember how this thing goes. Is it like that? No way it's like that. I'm all right. Nobody worry about me. I'm gonna jerk off tonight. Wait a minute. Yeah, it'll work. Uh, I gotta put another piece in, but you can see with just that little bit of work. Now this particular car, I'm not gonna open the hood on this car um, because I just don't want to because of the way the firewall and stuff had some really bad fit issues, a lot of bad warp issues with this chassis. This is an original chassis. So I kind of modified it to get it straight. So there's some work in here that I, I'm not, is not very flattering through here. So I chose to just keep the, the one, the, the hood's going to be shut, but I did do a nice exhaust and everything for this car. <clears throat> I found that the Salvino's uh, windshields have a fatal flaw. Uh, these windshields here, these lines don't go all the way to the top. But on the Salvino's Juniors models, they do. So it keeps the windshield from going in. Very, very weird. Very weird. Uh, okay, let me find a decal sheet. A decal sheet. Um, a uh, instruction sheet for one of these NASCARs so I can see how that one piece goes in because there's also a little bit of paint work has to be done if you can notice that this thing has all the padding on the roll bar it has all the padding in there but it's actually just paint it's just paint brush paint um and that works fine for this bit of detail works fine for it uh because it's not you know it's not really going to be seen that much I've got a piece here which I have painted so it's going to show me that it's going to go like that just because how it's just because how it's done there so yeah. it's going to go through there through that, through the, uh, okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay, now that's the importance of not gluing this piece in, you see. Because now I can feed it back out, which it's always a maze with these things. I can feed this piece back out. And now I know exactly how it's supposed to go. So I can paint it accordingly. I can paint it accordingly, Charlie. Accordingly. Or not. It doesn't really matter. I can just put it in, Charlie. Put it in me, Charlie. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He's cat chickies. Oh, well, that helps a lot. All right, we'll just get that fucker on out the way. Happy little accident here. Happy little accident. Which is going to be a great little accident if this works out because I have an idea what I need to do. I have a bit of an idea what I need to do. But I've got some really cool stuff that's fixing to be sent out to BG Customs. And believe it or not, I'm walking on air. No, I've got uh, some stuff going out to BG Customs and Fast Jimmy 71. And that's hard to believe. 
but it is. It's happening. And uh, that's going to be really cool. Now this almost looks right to me. That almost looks right to me. So this is the, the, the importance of test fitting, guys. Now I know that this has some paint work that needs to be done. But if I get this to line up like it's supposed to, get past this point here, line up, and what should happen is this will drop in the notch in the rear and pull up into place here. And this is supposed to reside down there, and that's it. With this on, this on, there you go. There it is, right there. There it is. Boom. Okay, now I know what to paint. And I can basically paint this where it sits. So, what I'm going to do is fuck everything up by doing that. hard to keep it in neutral. Now it's going to go in the first gear. Whew. Okay. Alright, let's walk around a bit. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Let that dry. It's always important to let it dry. What's up? Uh, man, I'm thinking because I know I'm supposed to be doing this build and I kind of got caught up and um, uh I've got a lot of stuff here that I could do. Uh, a lot of really cool cars. But I've been really leaning towards, uh, you know, some, uh, this here. You know, but I heard that truck, the other truck is awful and the colors are awful. But there's a bunch of cool uh model kits that i want to do because i am hosting that build and i'm basically what i'm doing is i'm waiting for bg customs to throw his build up or his intro video up once he throws his intro video up i will go to task on mine uh just trying to find something here got it i will go to task on mine and uh that'd be that I figure while that dries, I'll smoke a cigarette with you guys. I can't drop my phone no more because the green got busted. So did anybody see my tools the other night? The tool video that I did. And I don't mean the band. There's a lot of really cool tools that uh, I showed you guys the other night. And I hope that, uh, man, it's kind of chilly. Well, I'll show you a couple of tools when I get back in there. Uh, I found some really neat stuff that you guys need to go out and buy. Flat out. Because it's just really cool. And it's really helped me. Yeah, this is my backyard. Different from the other backyard that I once had. But it's an okay place. Uh, in, a, in a big neighborhood. A really big neighborhood. And... Uh, you know, fuck, I'll just walk around. I can walk around the front. But I live in a nice little neighborhood now. I used to live in that small little house with Lisa. I miss Lisa. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't get much bench time these, uh, these days, guys. And it's really nice to kind of talk to you guys. Uh, I've been very busy. Life has changed drastically from my first videos that I was making in Florida. And uh, life's just different now. Uh, it's not bad. It's actually better than it's ever been. But it's just a little hectic. And, um, you know, I'm having issues trying to get some bench time in. And I, 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 every time I look at it, I get upset at myself that I'm letting it sit. But, uh, you know, it's nice to get some bench time in, talk to you guys. I mean, getting closer to finishing your truck? I hope so, man gonna be cool it's 
You gotta live at a dead end. All right, I'm gonna walk back in now and we'll get the painting and stuff done. And we get that stuff glued together. Shallow's out there yelling. But, uh, okay. Here we go. I'm bad, I'm bad, you know it. Okay. I gotta put the phone back on it, but get you one of these. It holds chassis. It's freaking awesome. It is a, a circuit board holder for soldering, but it works perfect for, for holding chassis and such. You will thank me. I think if anybody in here in the chat now has gotten one because of my video the other day, I can already tell you, you'll love it. Please tell other people. Gotta plug my phone back up. All right. You have two, they're great. There you go. I hope I had a hand in that. All right, now. I think what I need is not in this room. As normal. As normal. I have a workbench, guys, but a lot of times I don't sit at it unless I'm doing something critical, and then I'll sit at it. But for the most part, I don't when I should. I don't when I should. I should when I don't. So, all right. Now. I use these tiny brushes to do work like this, and uh, I'm not sure, but I think, think that I need to glue, put this other piece in. Yeah, do a vid, brother, do a vid. We all want to see you. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it like this. Okay, let me glue this stuff in, and then uh, if it's glued in, I'll do the painting. The painting. Thank God you guys are not talking about the Super Bowl because I hate football. I'm sorry I mentioned it. Now you guys are gonna talk about it. sit for a moment while I talk to you guys. It will dry pretty quickly. It's been fun once you're out of here. The caddy looks awesome. The caddy! Also, I found this wonderful thing from HBI Guy. This stuff here. If you don't have it, guys, go out and get it. It's Mod Podge. This stuff is killer. Works for the windows. I'm putting all my windows in with Mod Podge now. It, it's, it takes a little bit of time to dry, but it dries clear. It leaves no residue. This stuff is awesome. You can use a brush to put it on. It's just great. It is just great. It's great stuff. All right, now... I'm going to simulate master uh, shaking paint. Now I'm going to uh, simulate roll bar padding by painting it like this. You know, and it's hard. It's hard to see like this. It really is. But 
Um, the main thing is, I'm going to show it down there to you. If you can see, you might not be able to see what it is I'm doing. So what I do is I make sure that uh, I get a good straight line across like this here. And I make sure that that line is as straight as I can get it so it looks like padding. And then once that's on, then I just paint upwards. Because you got to create, it's all about creating illusion, right? All about creating illusion. And that's what we're doing. If you glance inside the car, it will look like padding. You know, and it's something that should have been on these cars. It should have been here. Ravel kind of dropped the ball on that. But... On Ravel's behalf, on Ravel's behalf, people wasn't getting this detailed with automobiles as crazy, as widespread as it is now. There were no chunky monsters back then, or no full, full throttle customs, or Dr. Cranky, or Fast Jimmy, or anything like that. So, on a roll cage that's more taken apart, I use heat shrink, and heat shrink looks awesome. Works great on that. Okay, that is that is good. That is done. It's done. Over with. We'll touch up here. We'll touch up there. Oh, it's not done. Okay. All the padding is painted. So, that can only mean that it's time for the dash to go back in. And once the dash goes back in, y'all got to do some bare metal foil today, too. Once the dash goes back in, that's pretty much buttoned up. The things that I need to button up on this because that's that's yeah it looks good to me okay get some more of this glue out that's about dead that I, it keeps giving me but here is the dashboard I don't know how well it's going to focus on that I've been having bad trouble with it not focusing See, I can't get the fucking thing to focus, guys. Can't get the fucking thing to focus. together that's it the inside of the car is done uh, i know like i said i didn't paint the back of the car but that's not going to be seen uh i've just put it in basically to hold these in place and there's a couple little spots here that i can touch up with my paint while i'm thinking about it and that's what i'll do that's what i'll do Oh, I did the, the rear view mirror. I just noticed. 
It does not have a rear view mirror, so I'm going to have to dig one of those out. Not going to be a problem. Not going to be a problem. It's not the problem. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Chucky Monster, do a video, man. I used to watch you uh, a while back when I was looking for the Ghostbusters hearse. You had done a video because you had built one, and uh, that's how I got to see in your stuff was the Ghostbusters hearse. Did you know that, sir? It's probably one of the first videos I ever commented on, if I even commented on it. But I know it was one of the first videos that I liked watching and learned from. You know, because you did a good job on that one. You wasn't aware, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've like perused your videos. You, you're, you're a good builder, you know, so I used to enjoy looking at your stuff and take little cues from you. You know, that's what we all do. That's what this place is for, right? Or it used to be for. You bought the 1A scale Trans Am? All right, that's it, guys. Video over. Fuck it. He bought my dream kit. I'm out of here. I quit. Come get the things. You can have it all. I don't care. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But look at what I got. This is the one eighth scale. Uh, Chevette, but uh, Corvette. Uh, but I wanted the the uh, Trans Am. What's your Holy Grail kit? The Trans Am kit or the Vet kit? Because the, the Trans Am kit's my Holy Grail kit. I've got the one eighth scale Golden T. I've got the the T bucket high boy. I got there. I've got five or six one eighth scale kits, but that's the one. That's the one, man. Okay, this looks good. Eighty six. I don't know which car that is. Or oh, the vet? Is it the vet? Shit's messing up here. Trying to get this to go. Looking good. How much did you pay for your Trans Am kit? pretty good well, I got one little spot there I gotta touch up but I can reach that through the window
Okay. That's good. That's good. There's some good stuff right there. All right. As you can see, I got one little spot I got to touch up inside there. Yeah, I like the Camaro too. You know, one day, you know, one day we might do a one eight scale build, me and you. You know, uh, I I would definitely go for trying to build this. I do want the Trans Am, but they cost way too much on eBay. Um, but I'm not scared. Uh, I'll build this. I I paid eleven dollars for this in a blow job, and and uh, it was very. No, I think I honestly I paid uh, right at a hundred bucks for this thing, I think. And the reason why I bought it was these posts are not broken. On all these old vets, the posts are broken, so I got lucky. So um, yeah, man. Uh I can show you I've got the golden tea. I've got I got like three really cool ones that um we can definitely do some cool stuff with. Definitely. Okay. All right. Look at the front of my NASCAR with its own grill and all. It's got a dent in it, though, I don't like that I'll have to fix, but that's no problem. I can do that lickety dick and fix that later. I don't want to take it apart at the moment because, you know, and. I really want to do another windshield for this car, but so she's close. She is close. Now, only thing lacking is possibly a new windshield. One little strip of bare metal foil here. I need to polish this out. I need to add the um, hood pins and uh, put the window in that side and maybe add some more decals over the top of the ones that's under the clear. And I'm done. So this thing is very, very close. Very close. So that's cool. Now the window here, over here is still sitting. The one that I made. And look over at the uh, and I might end up making another one because I might not like this one either. It's all about how clean it looks. And this don't look that clean. And I just dropped it. this one either but I don't like it either so I'm gonna have to make one more but that's okay that's okay I don't like how this one came out I think the silver is too wide around the window look over here it's not wide like that so it's all right it's all a trial and error thing all right maybe I can wipe off the access uh stuff and just start over which is what i'll probably do uh let's see what else do i need to do then bare metal foil uh and i don't know where that's at or do i or do i no i sold the one to one harley i uh, got rid of it I couldn't get a title for it anymore. So that was that. Uh, had to get rid of it. And, you know, my hip is bad. Messed up as my hip is and my back. I really couldn't ride that much anymore as much as I love it. Uh, as much as I've enjoyed it. Uh, couldn't really get it done anymore. So 
Y'all ever had this Tamiya tape? Get it. It's awesome. Okay. And I use this at all. Yes. Some bare metal foil here, which I'm fixing to use for this window. Hopefully, we'll get her in one take. I gotta change blades already. God damn it. Already. I think it's because I was using that glue and stuff. So, yeah, Chucky, do a video. I'd like to see your progress there, man. Be really cool to see what you got going on, man. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Okay. I got these really cool things from my doctor, although I hadn't seen him in a while. bare metal foil here <clears throat> and one thing i noticed about people's bare metal foil is it'll be all bunched up and scratched up looking don't be afraid guys push push on there hard it will it will flatten out it will lay out smooth i also like to cut in the corner here like that and a lot of times i'll just cut straight down like that if it's on the car and you want to take your toothpick, a fresh one, not one with glue on it. Yeah, she still builds. She just hadn't done a video in a while. You want to take the toothpick and, you know, run down that seam. And with a fresh blade, this blade's never cut nothing before. I am going to... Cut there. And cut down this edge here. Or maybe cut up it, just depending on how easily I can get to what I got to get to. And the main thing with bare metal foil is, you know, you just want to take your time. It's not rocket science. You can you can get it done quite well. Uh, it doesn't take. You know, people are real gentle with it. And they, they talk about how hard it is. It's really not that hard. The main thing is make sure you got a clean surface. Make sure you've got a clean blade. And, you know, make sure you get the bare metal foil down into the cracks. And use. Use pressure when you are using that uh, Q-tip. You know, use pressure. Get it good and flat. Because that's the key. You want the bare metal foil to be good and flat. Nice and flat. That's the goal. I've seen so many builds that look great all the way up to the bare metal foil. And the bare metal foil looks like shit. Because they didn't press down hard enough. And it makes me just want to fucking take the car and push down on the bare metal foil and make it right, <laughs> you know? I'm gonna take the body back out even though I didn't want to. It's best to do it with nothing in the body. You know, you see me pressing like a motherfucker and working this like a son of a bitch. This is what you do. And that will take this bare metal foil and make it lay down very pretty. Because that's your goal. That's what you're trying to do. You want to make it lay down. Now this foil is being a bit of a bitch and it don't want to release on the other end here. Which I have cut it already. A couple of times now. And she don't want to come loose. The fuck? It ain't sticky. You're supposed to come up. So 
Sometimes you gotta take this edge of the foil itself and slowly work it up and it'll start popping off in chunks. You know, the main thing is just take your time. You know, be cool. You gotta learn that the plastic is not going anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere, guys. It's right here. You got it. You've got this. It's no big deal. Just work it nice and slow. And take your time because eventually it will come loose. You know, patience is the name of the game. People that throw models together in two days, I don't, I, I mean, maybe for the people that do that, that maybe they do enjoy the cars when they're done. I don't think I could because I would see so much stuff that I would have wanted to have done that didn't get done. Okay. Well, that bare metal foil is on there. And what I like to do for the window rubber, especially since now I'm using this Mod Podge, is I take this thin line Sharpie and I just draw in, draw black, which helps with creating the illusion of a window rubber. Makes it look good. A little more finished, as they say. A little more finished. And you just take your time. Once again, patience is the name of the game. It's all good. That's as good as, I'm sorry the camera's not getting nice close shots, guys. Sorry about that. That's just how the son of a bitch is these days. Clean it up. All right. Now, I've got that done. So I want to, oh, I want to fix this. Right now. Trying to fix that screen. And you gotta be careful, you'll bust right through it once again. Back to what I was just saying before. Patience. Take your time. All right. Now I'm ready to put the body on. Hopefully, for the final time, because I think I got everything I need. I think this is going to be it. All right, that looks good. That looks good. I think she's on there. I think she's on there, boys. All right. Now, the only thing left, polish this out. Make a new windshield, I think, because I don't like this one. And uh, that'd be that. So, this is either a good stopping point or a good starting point. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here because I, I, I got a little bit done. I worked with you guys for an hour and a half. So, take it easy, Chucky Monster. Thank you guys for sticking in with me here a little bit today. Um, I'm glad I could get some work done on this car. She's almost done now. Uh, and I probably would not have got so much done if it wasn't for you guys and me talking to y'all. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. As you can see, uh, you know, it's just a reason why it takes me so long to build is I do small things, little things. And take my time doing them. Uh, trying to make this camera focus. I don't know why it won't. But maybe if I just do this. Because you guys deserve it. Turn this camera around. If it'll let me in just a second here. All right. Yeah. 
you can see that one does not end. But if I turn it around, now you can see that the rear window is tinted. But now you can see, uh, look, I paint that part. There is the rear glass that was made, side window. There is my net that was made. Um, you can see if it'll focus, the switches on the dash. They're all in the off position. The photo etch shifter, quick release steering wheel, the bare metal foil that I just did. The wheels, which have a shit ton of detail on them. You just can't see at the moment. If I can get it up like that. Y'all see the detail now? And the front grill, which needs a little work, which I can finesse it in. And set this windshield in here. And there you go. She is almost done. What do you guys think? I think, I think that I need to make a new windshield. I don't like that windshield. But I think that other than that, other than that, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. on there I gotta put the drive shaft in one thing I can do oops, one thing I can do for you guys right quick if you hold on give me a little money shot is messy but I've been working with you boys now you can see this window a lot better because of the uh, in there this is this car has the camera in it as well as the thing for it now this car technically should have these color tires on it the yellow tires because it's a road course car that was built or is a, a modern day version of the car that i built here but uh this car here as y'all know has exhaust on it but it also has a detailed engine this one has a little more work done to it uh, it's not great but it's not terrible I did this a few years back as a tribute to classic plastic. But uh, there you go. This car also has a real grill in it. I need to fix that. So what y'all think? Looking good? I'm liking it. I'm liking it for sure. I'm liking it for sure. So, okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in on this Saturday. Glad I could hang out with you guys. And I hope if y'all stuck in with me for the whole time, that y'all have learned something, something maybe y'all didn't know before. So, it's a good thing. So, I'm Little Joe with Back Bay Skill Customs. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me today. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And hopefully, we'll, we'll do some more live streams and videos for you guys. So, Thank you so much for hanging out with me. 
and uh, we will see you guys later. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And uh, if you are not subscribed, or if you would like for me to subscribe to you, just hit me up in the comments below after this video reposts, and uh, I will subscribe to you. So you guys take it easy. Bye-bye.